Hi guys, I'm here today to explain how to make a simple, cheap tandem bike and if possible, if you have the right parts, for free, just like I did. So, the first step is you're going to need to search for two bikes, similar make, I got two of the same model, Supercycle, Supercycle, There's, they're, um, they're slightly different, but that doesn't matter, they just have to have to be slightly similar, right? You can go on Kijiji for this, eBay, or even if you just have two. Um, the next thing is, you're gonna wanna mock them up and try to understand, so take them side by side. On the ground, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna put it, them on the ground, side by side. I'll get my other two bikes to explain. Actually, never mind. So, then you're gonna to want to take the front wheel off of the rear bike now the decision for this requires a lot of things it requires how the front's doing on the rear bike like say one of your bikes doesn't have a wheel in the front well that's perfect throw it in the back right now the important thing for this is come here when mocking them up you have to um, make sure that it fits perfectly. So you might need to do modification to the rear part. So see here, that's where the gear shifter attaches. I just bent that up with some pliers. Um, and to connect the front and the back, what I did is I spread out the front fork of this bicycle. So that's what you got to do. I used simple force maybe get two people for that, or if you have something to do that, just pull it apart, right? And you wanna take the guts of a wheel, and this is really difficult here. It took me an hour to get this in, but you really gotta like shove the inner part of it in there to connect it up, and then tighten it. You might need two people, get your friend or your wife or your husband to help you, or your sis siblings, doesn't matter. Then once you got that together, you gotta find where that you want this to be elevated at, right? So I find I maybe got What's a this? What to be elevated at? To get the elevation of it, the um, the middle elevation, right? Because you don't want this dragging. So it's it's a trial and error process. But once you have that discovered, you're gonna get your pieces of metal. You need two. If you do not have two, it will wobble side to side, and possibly break see so what I did for these pieces of metal is these are just pieces of metal that we have laying around for building a post and beam house because they already have holes in them and they're nice and thick take um take a measurement of mine mine is about 27 inches long and the holes are about two feet spread apart you might need to adjust that, but always, if you have the tools to put the holes in, that helps. Um, this metal was laying around, but you could possibly go to a metal store, buy some metal. So, what I did from there... Use wood if you had to. Yeah, but wood is not a good thing. Do not use wood. Wood it has no flexibility on it. Okay, never mind. Mom was wrong. So, what you got is after you have two... You gotta have someone help you hold it up so you can find where the holes want to go. So for the front one, you kinda of wanna put it on the seat. Come here. See the seat here? Drill a hole through the seat post. Make sure it's at the right elevation for your butt first. Cause you don't want it too low or too high. Cause only the rear one in the end is gonna be adjustable. So you gotta kind of have this one perfect. Um, so from here, I gotta drill a bolt, well, drill through the seat and find some bolts laying around or go to a bolt store and just go bolt it on. I kinda used um, uh, another bolt as a washer for this. Um, then on the other side, you kinda wanna do, gonna wanna drill it around here, the bottom post coming from the steering wheel and kinda drill in there and bolt it on um and that 
and the steering on this will be solidified from the bottom part being connected to the front part and this part being connected to here so don't worry about that this is not going to move okay and then, then after you have that you should have what looks like a tandem bike now from there you're going to want to remove most of the bulk from the bike so i'm assuming you already took off the um the rear gear shifter but the front gear shifter needs to come off on the other bike as well and those can just you know be sold on kijiji or anything like that makes yourself a couple of, some extra cash or if you are in really into bikes keep them with you for future projects then you really want some plain handlebars except you're gonna want to leave the front brake on the front bike now for the rear bike well you kind of guessed it the rear brake for the rear bike okay mine's a little broken here but you know I just kind of fixed it with the tape but it's not important after you have that you're gonna want to get yourself two chains and come here. Once you have those two chains, you're going to want to connect them together. Yes, that is only two chains. Go to the store, they're real cheap, or if you... Connect the two chains from the two bikes? All you need is one chain extra because both bikes should have chains. And connect both of the chains. I have a chain connecting tool or whatever methods you have. Um, if you go to the store to buy your chains, they have the links to attach each other with your hands. There's the instructions on there. Um, then you got that. Then you're kind of going to want to mock it up, right? To see if you got the right length. Now, come here. This is the real important part. See, this is depending on what kind of speed you want to go. If you're not trusting yourself, you're going to want to put the front, put it on the first gear on the front Show pedals. me again, I wasn't there. You're gonna want to put it on the first gear in the front pedals. With and the chain on the front gear on the first gear. Chain on the first gear. And in the rear, chain on the first gear again. Because you don't want it messing up the angles, because then it will fall off. Uh, you gotta really be careful about this for same thing with the middle part. Gonna make sure it's on the right gear. And then here, you're gonna want to put it on the second gear and the third or second gear here. And you're gonna wanna make sure they're real tight. All right, and after that, you should be finished. Um, adjustments and all that uh, really depend on what you're feeling. If you wanna make it go slower so that you can go up hills or you're not feeling safe, then you're gonna wanna throw it on the second gear on, both second gears on the pedals. <coughs> and for the, for the chain, you're gonna wanna throw it on the first gear to first gear on the wheels uh, but other than that follow these simple instructions and if possible do like I did and make yourself a free tandem bike or so um and this one does work quite nicely not as much in the yard but it does if you do not weld the metal parts which you can it will be a little bit squeaky. Yeah, works. Just stop because my feet are hurting. <laughs>